Good morning. Well, it's been a few days, hasn't it, since I last vlogged. I think it might even have been almost a week now. Um, and that is because of my annoying tooth. <laughs> As you know, I went to the dentist once about two weeks ago to try and get my tooth out, which had cracked. He couldn't take the tooth out because the anaesthetic wasn't working properly, but it had been wiggled around. He tried to put it out a bit, so it, my face was swollen and aching for that week until the following Wednesday when I went back to the dentist and he tried to take it out for the second time. Luckily that time the anaesthetic did work, um, but it was quite a long and tedious process because I have TMJ, which is um, a problem with my jaw where the it dislocates easily and uh, I can't open my mouth very wide. So that was proving to be a bit of a, a problem. So it did take a long time, but eventually the tooth came out. And then after that, uh, when the anesthetic wore off, I was in agony, really bad, really bad pain. Um, and it, the pain just did not stop. So I kept on waiting and waiting and waiting for it to get better, to just, you know, for the pain to diminish slightly, but it didn't. And I did consider ringing an emergency dentist, but I thought I would just wait until the Monday. So that was Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, five days I waited with that pain. I was taking as many painkillers as I was able, but it wasn't really helping all that much. And yeah, I went to the dentist on the Monday and they said that I had a condition called dry socket. Um, and if you don't know what that is, that's where your, when you have your tooth taken out, you're supposed to have a blood clot in the socket where, where the tooth came out but my, mine didn't form a blood clot. So um, I have a thing called dry socket, which means the healing takes a lot longer. The jawbone is exposed. You can see the jawbone, the nerve is, is exposed. So you can imagine the intensity of that pain. And on top of that, I had an infection. And I think that's because where they tried to take out the tooth the first time and it didn't quite work and it was left for a week. I think maybe perhaps some food must have got trapped inside and caused this infection. So they put some numbing stuff in the socket um, and then dressed it with some clove oil dressing stuff. Um, and that relieved the pain yesterday for a few hours, which was wonderful to have a break from it. Um, but the bad news is, is that kind of delays the healing a little bit. So you have to think, do you want a few hours of not having pain, but then it takes a bit longer to heal. And that's the option I went for because I was just, I just had pain for so long. I needed a break. Um, so now that's worn off. So today I'm back to being in quite a lot of pain, but not as bad as last week. So I think it's actually starting to get better now, which is good. So the dentist also prescribed me antibiotics, but she, because I'm breastfeeding and some of the antibiotics would go through to the breast milk, she said, don't take the antibiotics unless you really feel like you have to, if you start developing a fever or anything like that, because it should hopefully go away on its own. So I haven't taken those and hopefully won't need to. But that is the reason why I haven't vlogged the past few days. Being in that much pain, I just haven't been able to do anything. Um, so this Christmas has been a bit um, unorganized to say the least. Uh, normally by now I would have ordered all the Christmas food, I would have ordered all the Christmas presents, everything would kind of be almost ready. I would probably have wrapped up most of the presents by now, but as it stands, I haven't ordered Christmas food. I've bought a few bits along the way, some of which are in the freezer, some of which are in the larder, but I haven't got everything food-wise. And I haven't got a single Christmas present because, you know, I've got a new baby. I had a very difficult postpartum recovery, which I haven't even explained on here yet. 
Um, and then this stupid tooth problem, which has now been going on for almost three weeks. So yeah, it's been a tough time. So I'm not sure what this Christmas is going to look like, but I'm trying not to get too bothered by it. Um, it will be what it will be. And when the children keep saying they want this for Christmas and that for Christmas and you know, all that stuff, I keep saying to them, look, it's not your birthday, it's Jesus's birthday. What do you need presents for? <laughs> of course they'll get some presents, but you know, I'm just trying to get them to see that it's not, it shouldn't be a thing about them getting presents. Um, but that is what it seems to have become lately, isn't it? So, yeah, but for us, it's all about being together as a family, eating nice food and celebrating in that way rather than gifts, you know. Yeah, I don't know how it's going to end up. I still can't really focus on organising presents at the moment. I'm still in too much pain to think about things properly. So let's see what happens over the next few days. And it is my birthday today. So um, there are some cakes being made over here. Samantha's making me a three tiered butterscotch I think it is cake I'm not sure I'll find out later but yeah but I'm looking forward to that but at the moment I'm just about to cook myself some breakfast um, I'm going to have scrambled egg on toast today well I'm all for Christmas all the happy smiles and the wishes And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe Tell me one thing Is there anything that you're missing? I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow Whatever we do so Samantha needs caramel sauce to make my cake, but the shop had run out. So she bought um, just some condensed milk, carnation condensed milk. And then to make the caramel, she just put the tin in a saucepan of water. So the water covered the tin and brought it up to the boil, then simmered it for three hours. And it's made a lovely caramel sauce. Samantha's just baking my cake. Well, she's just finishing it off. She's baked the cakes but she's doing the topping now so this is the cake that she's making out of this book Jane's Patisserie which I'll link below it's a really good book if you want to make cakes there's lots of cheesecakes in there as well isn't there and yeah what else was it uh, cupcakes and and cookies and stuff mm. So I think this is definitely the last time William's going to be able to wear this jumper 
It is looking way too small now. It's a shame because it's really nice. Baby. What have you been doing, Henry? Um, Playing it takes two. Yeah. And do. Um, I don't know. Stuff. Stuff. Like, Did you feed the chickens? Yes, I fed the chickens. Um. That's kind of it. Mm. Mm. What about the chickens? <laughs> I'm gonna be obsessed with you. Wait, you can yeah. go on the screen. Wait, wait, how, how can you use the screen? I don't know, just did it. Yeah. <laughs> the love I live, the dream I knew, this Christmas I only want.